Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the brand new Pat McGrath Blitz Astro Eyeshadow Quads. So if you are interested in hearing my thoughts on these palettes, then just keep watching. guys have no idea how impatient I've been to put these on my face. They've been sitting on my desk. So finally, this evening, I had the opportunity to put them on my eyes. Alright, so let's go over the details of this release. So these are two of the new eyeshadow quads that are for her holiday collection. This is the first time she is launching quads like these. So these are limited edition and they are exclusive right now to Sephora. So if you want to order these, make sure you order them from Sephora.com. They are $65 each. And online it says these are hybrid formulations that combine the best features of power powder, cream, and fluid textures to deliver eye looks that beam with iconic illumination. Basically, they are quads. Each of the shades are her Blitz Astral formula that are found in the end of her 10 pm palettes, but I will go into that in a second. Obviously, we have two palettes here. So the first one in the red packaging is the Iconic Illumination palette, and both of these have the same Pat McGrath packaging as normal where you have a string you open it up and so this is the first time pat mcgrath has done a quad like this so this is the first time we are seeing this packaging in this size we have seen this packaging before it's the same packaging of her regular full-size mothership palettes this definitely has a lot less weight to it and it's like cut down because it's a quad and i think it's really cute to see these in a little form because i'm so used to seeing them so big but yeah you're getting four of the full-sized eyeshadows compared to the 10 that are in her regular palettes and you get a big mirror. The other one that we have is Nocturnal Nirvana. This is in a pretty baby blue packaging and it actually has like diamond bows on there. Love it. Both of them have the diamond bow pattern and then as you can see this one is much more colorful. So I'm going to briefly go over the price and my thoughts because there has been a little bit of chatter online about this being a complete ripoff basically. But yes, you're only getting four shades for $65. The way I view it, and I'm definitely biased because I do love Pat McGrath, so I'm on Pat McGrath's side for this certain instance. I haven't been in all cases with the brand, but in this one, I'm standing by Pat. $65 for four colors. Her regular 10 pan palettes are $120. $25, but essentially you're paying half the price and you are getting 60% less of the product. And also she does have six pan palettes that are only $55. So $10 more for two less shades raises eyebrows. I can see that for sure. But for somebody like me who's very familiar with the brand, I understand why. These are all her special formula that you can really not replicate in any other brand. I have a ton of makeup. I've tried so many different formulas and Pat McGrath has a formula that is unique to her brand. It is made specifically in Italy. Her other formulas can be made in the United States, but every time her palettes have that really fine glitter metallic formula, it is made in Italy. Products made in Italy tend to be more expensive. Compared to the six fan palettes, the packaging is cheaper on that. This is quite luxurious packaging and just calling it like it is in her 10 pan palettes only four of the shades are that special formula the rest of the six are more of like mattes or shimmers or just normal formulas this formula is definitely more expensive to make compared to the regular formula and you know what you can still argue that it's unfair but in my opinion this formula is so spectacular that that little price up it's deserved because that's how good this formula is if you don't have the money or you don't think that it's worth the money then don't buy it there are other aspects to her brand that i personally appreciate i appreciate the experience the quality and just the finer details of makeup because it's what i do and that's not for everybody and that's okay that's all i have to say on that so let's actually go into the nitty-gritty of the individual palettes so this first one is the iconic illumination so this one very clearly is the more neutral one if you will now i did try and create a whole look just using this palette and it was kind of ugly i'm not gonna lie so i had to scratch that and i did create more of a neutral look only using two of the shades but here is what i collected from this palette for me personally i don't see myself creating a look 
just using this palette. I would have to dig into some other shades just to get a little bit more dimension in my eye because I was a little bit overwhelmed with the options. Yes, they go well together, but there's just some other shadows I want to dig into. In my personal opinion, this is kind of like a pop palette, kind of the same concept of lid toppers, things like that. So I would dig into any palette, put some colors in the crease, and I would top off my look with one of these. I just don't feel complete using this palette alone. So going over the shades individually, you have this shade up here, which is my absolute favorite. This, in my opinion, kind of warrants me being in love with this palette and keeping it. It is a kind of sheer shade, and it's all about the glitter. This, for me, is just you need it. I don't know if you can see it really hitting the light, but this you can put over any shadow just to add that oomph effect to your eyelid. So any color on your lid, pop this right on top. It's going to change the look. This is my favorite formula from Pat McGrath's entire line. It's so glittery, really unique. There's not much of a base color to it, but the finish, stunning. Then you have this more reddish color right here. I'm personally not a big fan of colors like these, but that's just my own personal issue. This is really pretty it's gonna be great for fall I wish it was like more glittery but it is still very pretty you have this kind of brown color right here and this is gonna look really gorgeous for a smoky eye now I did attempt to use it as a crease shade and I did find it pulled a lot more gray on my eyelid it looked like I was wearing some type of charcoal shade so I'm honestly not too crazy about this if you pack it on with a finger it does look a touch more brown but just be aware it's gonna pull more gray or at least on me it pulled more gray so I wasn't so crazy about the shadow. I didn't really like using it as my designated crease color for this palette. I wanted to grab for something else. It's a nice shade, but using it as my crease color to create a whole look with this palette, it just didn't work for me. And then you have a gold right here, and Pat McGrath creates the best golds in my opinion it's just amazingly gorgeous and with this particular palette you can definitely get away with using a brush for a softer look if you are more of a neutral wearer you are probably going to lean more towards this one it is very very pretty but there's definitely some things i don't love about this one so the look that i created with this palette that i did really like was i started off with that brownish shade right here and i applied it to my outer corner and I slowly worked on building that out into my crease as well. You'll see it just looks a lot more gray. I'm not a big fan of that but it did work well with the vibe of my look. It blended out very easily. A more matte or satin shade would have looked better because this is quite shimmery but it is very pretty and then I just took my finger and I went in this shade right here and I just patted that all over my lid. No glitter glue or anything. If you hate when glitter falls on your face definitely put down a glitter glue but I wanted it to be more of a scattered effect so I just pressed my finger on and it was gorgeous those two shades alone are absolutely stunning I loved this look a lot honestly if you just blended this shade all over the lid and patted this on top it would have been a beautiful evening eye very pretty look I created with this one and the next one that we have here is nocturnal nirvana now this one to me really screams Pat McGrath I was so excited for this one of the two I'm just gonna say it. this one is by far my favorite in this quad, you are getting another gold. It's a bit softer and a bit more yellow-based compared to the gold in the previous palette. So pretty. And then you have this blue shade right here. It's kind of like an aqua color. Uh, it does kind of lack in pigmentation a little bit if we're going to compare it to other colors, but it did create a really pretty diffused blue on my lid. And when I used my finger to apply it, it worked just fine. If you spray your brush a little bit, you're going to get a wham-bam effect. I love a good blue and then we have this deeper purple right here kind of like a violet now this runs very deep this is one of those shades where if you apply it with a brush that shininess kind of goes away so I kind of used it as my crease color today but if you do want that sheen definitely make sure you apply it with a finger it can require a little bit of buildup but it's not messy it's not chalky or anything so that definitely makes up for it and then the last shade that we have here is actually a duochrome. So this is an emerald with a little bit of purple in it. This is probably my favorite color in this palette. 
I think it catches the light really beautiful. I love this green right here. So of this palette, this color is my favorite, but I think they're all beautiful and they all work cohesively together. With that other palette, I know they work together, but I didn't feel as inspired about using them together. Like this works and it's wonderful. I mean, I created this look today using it and I'm obsessed. So I took a bullet brush and I applied this to my outer corner and then kind of worked it into my crease a little bit. That created the base shadow for my eye look. Given the formula of it, it kind of mattified so that crazy shimmer wasn't there anymore. But to bring back a little bit of that vividness to my eye, I did use my finger and just tap that right on top of the outer third of my lid just to give that little pop, but you still have that big shadow that was really pretty. Then I took the teal color and I used my finger and I just applied that to the center of my lid. Like I said, finger or a wet brush is going to work the best with this shade, but you can still get a really pretty soft aqua look if you decide to use a brush. And then I used my finger and I applied the emerald shade right here to my inner third of my lid. Just that fade from the green to the turquoise to the purple is just so pretty. It's, I don't know how else to describe it. It's just so pretty and it looks so good. And then I took my brush again, my original bullet brush, and I just kind of ran over the top with a little bit of that purple just to add a little bit more smoke to the eye. And then I took the gold and I just applied that to my inner corner. I think this would look better towards medium to darker skin tones as an inner corner color, but it is still gorgeous. And on my lower lash line, I didn't film this, but literally all I did was I repeated what I did on top on the bottom meaning that the greens down here then it goes to blue then it goes to purple I mean I'm actually obsessed with this look and I'm obsessed with this quad so just to kind of give you my final roundup on these palettes uh, as a Pat McGrath lover I'm very happy to have these palettes especially since I'm such a huge fan of that special formula the fact that I can have them in little quads just makes it that much better but you know i don't think that these are for everybody just value wise and money wise not everybody has 65 dollars to throw out for makeup i think if you really want to try out the brand i think that you should get a 10 pan palette but you know what maybe you don't care for the mattes and shimmers and you only want to try out the shimmer formula i think this is a great way to go and i know this palette is less wearable for work so less people are going to lean towards this palette but this one i I think it's just better than this one. I think this one's more inspiring and I think you kind of get these colors more so in her 10 pan palettes. This one is a little bit more unique color story wise. Yeah, if you're going for something more unique to her line, get the more colorful one. But if you just want to try out that special formula and you don't feel the need to spend $120 on the big ones, this is a good way to go and it's just nice to have. So I definitely am very happy with these and I hope if you purchase them that you are as well. Let me know down below in the comments. If you are interested in seeing some comparison swatches, I would recommend you go check out Kinky Sweat's video. She did a great job with that. Kelsey Brianna J also did as well. So they did great swatches if you would like to take a look at that. And that finishes up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I look forward to reading them and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Have a good one.